everybody. Well, we are out at our new property that we bought not too long ago. Just closed, what was it, the 1st of August. And so, um, we are out here at our new property, 27 acres, um, an RV garage that was turned into a minimal living space, which you can see behind me. There's the RV garage. Uh, yeah. And so a lot of the land has been kind of overgrown, not a lot of maintenance being done on it. Um, it was an elderly person who lived here, and so um, the last couple years she wasn't able to maintain it as well as she probably hoped. Um, so it is thick woods surrounding us, but we do have a clear space. You can probably see behind me all that clear space where our driveway is. Um, so the original plan was to um, move out here, sell our house in a regular subdivision, and work on the inside of the RV garage to make it fit our needs and maybe decorate it and move a tiny home out here for our 18 year old son to live out here temporarily. And then we wanted to start some type of business out here. Um, maybe wanted to grow something specifically out here. Um, maybe build some tiny homes, um, a doggy daycare, something like that. But either way, we we're gonna fix up the RV garage, live in it, and then hopefully start a business so that we could quit our traditional jobs and eventually, you know, do some full-time RVing here and there depending on what we set up here on the land. So we closed on our property. We're in the process of selling our house in a traditional subdivision. And we come down to the property after we close. Um, there was a lot of random things that the owner had left here. So specifically, it's all concrete floors. So she had rugs and um, linoleum, that kind of thing, just laid down on the floor. Um, she just, it was kind of the bare minimum. There's bathroom in there, but like I said, the walls were concrete or um, that wood floorboard before you lay any flooring down upstairs. Um, few windows, not a lot. Uh, stairs with no kind of covering. But I guess she lived here for 20 years and didn't need much. So we get in there, we go to pull the carpeting up off the concrete floors, and lo and behold, we see what we think is mold. We knew it kind of smelled funny in there, but we just kind of figured that, you know, it needed to be aired out and you know, new flooring put in, that kind of thing. And so that wasn't a big deal to us until we pulled up the carpet and saw that there was mold there. We proceed to get somebody out here to test it, and lo and behold, it is several types of mold, including black mold, throughout the whole building. Now what do we do? We've got a property with 27 acres and an RV garage that we were supposed to live in. We are in the process of selling our old house, and... We can't live in the RV garage now until we get rid of the mold or I don't know what we're going to do. We need suggestions. What would you do? Would you park a tiny house out here on the land, a travel trailer maybe, and try and rip everything up? An estimate just to get everything out, all the mold and get the building cleaned up is over 15 grand. And we weren't planning on spending 15 grand, obviously. The electrical already needed to be fixed, um, which was going to cost between six and eight thousand dollars. So we did know about that. But now we have all this acreage. We're getting ready to sell our house, so we will have nowhere to live. It's not safe to live in the RV garage, obviously, until we get it figured out. We don't know what to do. Does anybody have any ideas? We would love to hear from you. We don't have any experience on 
doing uh, fixing buildings up, um, construction work. My husband is pretty good with electrical. He was a mechanic for a lot of years. He's very handy. I call him my MacGyver because he can pretty much fix everything. But as far as building a whole house or starting from scratch with probably going to have to knock out the drywall and everything if we don't have somebody come in here and do it for us. We are kind of at a loss as to what we're going to do. So yeah, there that's where we're at right now. And it's a little frustrating. Kind of like my worst nightmare a little bit because now we don't have our nice clean subdivision family home to live in or we're getting ready to not have it. And we have a building that's full of mold and 27 acres that really hasn't been maintained except for the front where you drive through up the, uh, the driveway. We knew it was going to be a lot of work initially, but we didn't know that it was going to be hazardous to our health to even live in there temporarily while we were fixing it up. So, yeah, need suggestions, uh, experience. Somebody who knows how to clean this stuff up, do it yourself type thing. Um, we have an air filter that we bought, so we're in the process of trying to get the air cleared out in there. Um, we've got sledgehammers and chainsaw and you know things that we knew we would probably need, but at this point we're getting down to the wire and we're not going to have somewhere to stay, so we're going to have to figure out whether we want to park some type of temporary housing here, or, yeah, I guess that's probably pretty much, we're going to have to figure out whether we park an RV, get a travel trailer temporarily, maybe a mobile home, um, yeah, don't really know what we're going to do. So. If you have some suggestions on what you would do with a plot of land that's 27 acres, um, clear in the front, but mostly surrounding us, it's going to definitely need some maintenance and some clearing out, um, and a living quarters that is not really livable right now. Yeah, he's back there trying to pull stuff out. <laughs> Along with, there's our doodle. He freaking loves the property. He is a happy camper running around here, but he doesn't realize that we don't have anywhere to live right now once we sell our house. So yeah, good talk. Anyway, if you have any suggestions or experience or ideas on what exactly you would do, we would be glad to hear from you. Subscribe to our channel. I'll be posting more videos as we go through this crazy process of trying to figure out what we're gonna do new chapter of our life not spring chickens here we're not used to you know like I said doing construction and all that kind of stuff um, we're already in our mid 40s and so our plan was to kind of get some more, something going where we don't have to do the traditional lifestyle that everybody else does we want to travel and retire before we're too old to enjoy it so Anyway, let us know what you think, give us some of your ideas, and uh, I'll be posting again soon, probably when I'm really frustrated and about to lose it and I need to vent some more. So I'll see you later, and hopefully you'll subscribe to our channel and see what happens next.